Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. Today, I'm going to try another experiment. I have never used this mold before, but I, we are going to make a seashell jar with a couple elements. So let's get started. So my last few videos have been on Timu mold. I ordered a whole bunch of them. They all came the same time. Like I said before, the packaging was terrible, but every mold came out okay. And I'm super happy with the quality. They are very thick molds and they're nice and shiny where they need to be. So I'm excited to try this one. I was in Michael's after Christmas looking for some deals and I came across these little gold rock pebbles. I'm not really sure what they're made of. I don't know if it's glass or stones, but they are gold. So I finally found a use. I'm going to use these for the bottom part of the jar. So I'm hoping it comes out okay. I am going to put chameleon powder on the lid and I'm going to be using the chameleon powders by Let's Resin and the colors I'm going to combine are olive, blue, and plum. I'm just going to take this soft brush and I'm going to scatter these three colors together. Now I've never combined three colors together so I'm really not sure how this is going to come out. So if you are watching this video obviously it came out halfway decent to show the video so i'm just going to put them in random places i'm going to overlap them i don't know if that does anything or not so you can just brush it on with a nice soft brush and make sure you get really good coverage because you don't want any areas that are kind of spotty and blotchy because we will be filling this in with the black resin that way these colors come out nice and that they will um, change colors when you change them I poured some rocks in this cup and I mixed two ounces of resin in with them and I fully coated these rocks before I did put them in the mold. Now it was a little difficult to get them down in that lip, but it's it wasn't impossible. But I do have to say it needed four ounces of resin and not two. So I will go back and add two more ounces of resin after I have all the rocks in the mold. And I thought I would try this rainbow iridescence into these rocks just to kind of go with the lid. I did drop in maybe eight drops, but I don't think we're going to see that in the final product.
I mixed up six ounces with this black pigment to pour into the lid. However, if you do end up buying this mold, it is going to take eight ounces for the lid. Okay guys, it's the next day. It's time to unmold and let's see how this turned out. I have no idea how this is going to be. So I can see right away that there is a little lip that needs to be trimmed off on the bottom of this, which is no big deal. I'll use my X-Acto knife and get this out of the mold. It's looking really good. It actually resembles like the sand on the beach that I wanted it to since it is a seashell shape. There are a couple tiny little bubbles um, on the bottom, but honestly, you can't even see them unless you are actually holding it and looking at it. So I'm really happy with the bottom. Okay, time for the top. Let's see how these mica powders turned out, these chameleon color shifting powders that I just kind of blended all together. And I see there is a little lip on this one that I'll have to take off with a knife, but that's really not a big deal. So let's get this unmolded and see what it looks like. Oh, guys, it's so cute. It's so pretty. I love these colors. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Would you have done one color or do you like the three colors? I don't really see a whole lot of the red color. I think it was called plum in here. But I, if you move it around, you do get the color shifting colors. And I do struggle to get it on the jar the lid on the bottom but I once I figure it out I know how it goes but excuse me messing around with it trying to get it together 
Okay, so I finally get it together and now I realize how it goes and it actually fits really, really well. I am very happy with this mold that I got from Timu. I think I will be buying more molds from them. And here's a side view as well so you can see how it fits together. Let me know how you like it. Okay, I'm just going to take my knife and just cut off these little sharp edges. I don't want anybody to cut their fingers on these. And as usual, guys, I just want to thank you for popping in and checking out my video. The best way of supporting me, as I always say, is please hit that subscribe button and that like button. As with any YouTuber, we all appreciate it. It does help us continue to take the time to make videos for you guys. So to help you learn, I know that's how I learned how to do all this. So I do enjoy making these videos and I hope I'm helping somebody out there. Drop me a comment. I always check my comments. I'd love to see what everybody has to say. So go ahead and stick around and watch for the end photos.